Zen flesh, Zen bone. The second story. Hyaku Jews, fox. When they cannot go back to parents, how do they find out the first stage of the family to connect to joint family, family tree? Once they get a job in a high tech company or whatever company, they are looking for another and they find a priest, a Sri Sri, a Babaji, Amaji, Sadguruji, all this is pulling a huge amount of people. And these people have been always taught the best college, best school. So it's a mass hypnotism. They know where there's more light, the flies get attracted to light and they get burned to death. But that is not the thing was taught that you will not get burned. Go there and they're getting burned again. The law of causation is a philosophical principle that says every change in nature is caused by something. That something is, you are losing something, hence you're going there. My think, thinking, my, what I am expressing is, once that is finished, send the children back to the houses. Teach them that they must love their family first. Melt with the family. Otherwise, they say every effect has got a cause. And if they have got disconnected, they are running to that place, it has got a cause. What is the cause? The cause is the Sanskriti has not been practiced. Once you don't practice and you go out of the house, people will know you are stinking. Hence in Taiwan, they started beating up an Indian man who was inside the bus because he didn't use the perfume. Perfume is different one. It stinks. You stink. You know you have not been able to be truthful. Once you practice the Sanskriti, not you alone, with your whole family together. Family sits together, each together, prays to grow together. And once he said, oh, you are in line. You are in line with the causation, not subject to causation. Enlightenment is subject to law of causation. He is not a subject to the law of causation. He, yes, he is in the line of causation. Means he doesn't take this or that. You don't have to take this or that when you practice with your family. For every effect has a cause. When you don't do your samskriti, what follows is your love is disconnected. When the love becomes little less, like how the milk from the HF cow is not, last drop is not removed. The last drop is not removed, you fall sick. The total love is very important. The amount of time you spend in the office, in the school, in the colleges, in your factories, the same amount of time you don't spend with your family. For every effect has a cause. The cause is mental disturbances. To avoid the mental disturbances, you go for short sight and long sight. You take the mobile, you keep it very close to you and you have a short sight. And then you go to the doctor, doctor checks and sends, tells you you got a long, long sight problem. I have specs. No, no, no. But giving a specs, I become a slave. I become more weak. He becomes lazy. You have to only come out of the house and look right up to the trees, into the stars, into the moon and the sunlight. And you start thinking that I have to do my eye access. Stretching was very important. Effect for every effect has a cause. There are cause. Effect was, you did not give exercise, you did not feed the eye, you have to feed your body, every joint needs feeding means warming up, loosening up, stretching. When you do that, your diseases can come down, you feel more loving, every part of the body starts energizing, not through medicine, but through love effect. Old man replied, I am not a human being, but I was a human being when the Kashyapa Buddha preached in this world. I was a Zen master and lived on this mountain at that time. One of my students asked me whether or not enlightened man is subject to the law of causation. I answered him, enlightened man is not subject to the law of causation. For this law is not subject. You are not subject to the law of causation. <laughs> Who? The priest, the monk is not subject to the law of causation. He is not subject. He doesn't have to follow. That itself was wrong. 
If you don't follow, then you follow. You have taken the dice on both the sides. It has got both the sides. Both the sides are wrong because both the sides are going to create problems whether you get the head or the tail. For this ends evidence in clinging to Absalom. Zen must live on this mountain. At that time of my students asked, I became a fox for this ends evidencing a clinging to absolute. I became a fox for 500 rebirths and I am still a fox. Will you save me from the condition with your Zen words and let me get out of the fox body? Now may I ask you, the enlightened man subject to law of causation. Kyakuji said, the enlightened man is one with the law of causation. Yes. He is not subject. Subject means you are forced into something. You are not forced to be with your wife or your children. You are one with the wife and children. You are not forced. You are not a subject to the law of causation, but you are one with the law of causation. You are not a subject to the law of exercises, samskriti, your culture, but you are one with the law of your culture. You are one when you are one because you, you came out of the mother's body and your father's body is one. You both were one. When you came out, you are trying to move far away. And that's where the hyenas are waiting to extricate something from you. It's little by little. They don't kill you. They just cut your throat and you bleed little by little and die. And for everyone bleeding, you go to the doctor and doctor gives you medicines out of medicine because the whole money has to be taken out from your body. That you must understand. At the words of Yaku, the old man is enlightened. Oh, one, the moment he understood, one with the law of causation, you are not subject to the law of Samskriti. You are not subject to the law of going to the temple. You go to the Temple Sri Sri or Mother Amrutam Ji or Sadguru Ji, Ramde Maharaj Ji, you call it by any name. You go there and then be one with the law because you understand that, that love with your master, they are so beautiful. Huge amount of crowd with the love and affection. You can come back to your house and do the same thing. You can create the same amount of love and affection. You first time you understood family sisters and each of prays together. Then you know the Guruji, the Sri Sri, the Madhavamartam Ji, the Sadguru Ji, Ramdev Maharaj Ji, all sitting there and listening to one person. You can go back home and find out what went wrong for every effect that has a cause. You went out. Please be there. Like my secretary told me, when there's a trouble in the school, why did you leave the school? It is not your school. Let the others get out of the school. You'll be inside the school. The day I sat, I found my school grew. Yes. Why should you? Why did you leave your house? Of course, you went to those ashrams. You understood. Now come back to your house and find out whether you are head of the family. And if you are the head of the family, it's not that you become an autocrat. You will sit there in the satsang and you will discuss, listen. Love them, eat together. There's no need even to have a such thing discuss. Just sit with them and eat from the same plate. When you're taking bath, just massage your family members into oil. Talk to them, simple things, not big things. Simple things, yes, simple things. That will bring down the pain in the society. That will create when the pain in the society, pain in the family is brought down. You are healthy. When you got your love back, they also got the love back. Together when the love is there, so much love can move mountains and oceans. And you can see only richness in the family. You will not be going outside to beg. You are not a beggar to go to the hospital to beg for a health. And they are not there to give you health. The people who have gone to the hospital, majority of the people came down with the dead body, unable to move throughout their life. They have been poisoned. They have been asked to take drugs. And the drugs is they are telling, don't go to the bar to drink. But this is another kind of a bar. Come out of that. I'm not telling hospitals are wrong. You go to the hospital, but don't become a slave. Before you go to the hospital, try to find out whether you have cleaned your house, cleaned your body. You have did your samskriti. You have kept your pillows and the bed outside for drying. Whether you have put kalup, rock salt in every corner of the house, clean the floor with uh, uh, rock salt, wash the clothes with rock salt, taken by the rock salt, garbage them the rock salt. And then you have the right to go to the hospital. 